you just got your Klaviyo account set up and you're looking to get a welcome series up and running right away. So here are some top things that I recommend you do to make sure everything is going to operate smoothly and setup is ready to go. First things first, we're going to dive into the integrations area. Here is where you want to make sure that your status is enabled and you want to check the list that your integration is set with. So if you have Shopify, for example, you're going to head in and see list details. So here at the bottom, it has sync data from Shopify. It's selected and a list is selected. Make sure to take note of this list. This means that anybody who places an order, who abandons their cart, they will be in this list here. This is the one that's syncing them over. With that list, you want to go ahead and double check the settings on it. So let's head over into that list. Here in the list area, we are going to make sure that our opt-in process is selected to single opt-in. If you get your welcome series set up, you have a pop-up and people are opting in, it will send a double opt-in if this is selected here. We don't really want that. We know that people are opting in. Uh, we just don't need that single opt-in. We're not a GDPR, you know, we're not worrying about that. So a single opt-in is going to ensure that everyone who opts into the pop-up or a form will automatically enter into the list. Now that our list is all set, let's jump into two easy ways to get your welcome series set up. Here in the flow area, you're going to see some get started, you know, essential recipes. So these are easy because you can just jump right in and start building. So for example, you see a welcome series one right here. We can click that one and go ahead and start jumping into building. You are going to have some options here. This is where you can select that list. So ensuring that this list matches your integration and matches your pop up that your pop up is sending to the specific list will ensure that people are entering into your welcome series. We'll go ahead and create this flow and we can now start customizing. So out of the box, these are going to be very, very simple messages, nothing special about them. So you want to go in and actually customize these. But if you just want to get something rolling ASAP, you could click these, head into edit and start customizing your messages. And depending on how curated you want to be with this experience, you can remove this placed order filter here and just make everyone go down a single path completely up to you. But let's say that the recipes aren't what you want to follow. You want to create this from scratch. So to do that, you're going to come over to the right, create from scratch. We're going to call this welcome series test. And then tags, you really don't have to worry about. These are just useful for exporting your data. And maybe you want to tag everything as nurture if it's a welcome series or tag everything as offer if it has a promotion in it. So it's a way to organize your flows when you export the data. But we'll go ahead and create this flow. Once we're inside, we can select our trigger here, and that's where we're going to do added to list. So this is going to be how our welcome series is triggered. And here's where we can select the list. And again, going back to what our integration is and what pop up is uh, are assigned to, you can select that list there. And then for profile filters, you can add in more filters if you want to like really thin this down for any reason. But typically you can just do it as is and we'll click save and then confirm and save. This is because once you select this trigger, you won't be able to change it unless you clone this and start with a fresh trigger. Um, you can customize it that way, but once you press save, it is locked in. Then this is when you can start dropping in your first welcome email here if you want it to send instantly, which I recommend that you send instantly. You can come in, select your template and start editing your first welcome message. If you want someone to leave your welcome series once they make a purchase, you can come into flow filters here, add a flow filter. When someone has done, then do placed order zero times since starting this flow. So what this means is that you only want people who have placed an order zero times. Um, actually, you could do overall time instead of just starting this flow. So only people who meet this condition will stay in. Some people get tripped out on if this means like, should I say has placed an order to keep those people out? No. So you want to have it so that the person who comes in meets these definitions. And the great thing that you can do is come over to preview and you'll be able to see profiles to confirm if your filter is going to work the way you want it to.
All right, that's a quick and easy tutorial on how to get your welcome series set up. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Thanks.